Welcome to Memoriapolis. Now, I sadly did not manage to complete the uh, prior game before they released the uh, rather substantial patch that they have released. But I thought we might as well just start a new game. Now, I noticed there were several comments on the uh, first playthrough about the time limit of the cycles and how some of you didn't enjoy that. Impressively enough, that's already been removed. So you can now play in endless mode, still in experimental, but uh, it does remove the cycle limitation and uh, you can lose the game, but you'll have more time to develop the city of your dreams. Now, I'm not going to play in this because I thought we'd do the classic mode and try to um, to actually finish the, um, the storyline now that the uh, patch is in. The patch did fix quite a bit of... Uh, Things like uh, bugs and memory leaks and stuff like that, so um, could be interesting. Oh, boo, boo, boo. I think we are going to go with, let's see, 25% more abundant natural resources, trade routes, incidents less likely to spread, two additional decrees. This one is interesting. Uh, cultural buildings offer 15% more satisfactions. That one is definitely interesting. Uh, nah, that one is not interesting at all, to be honest. Hmm. I think it's either the philosopher, the politician, or the craftsman, really? Let's go with the philosopher one. Um, that might have been the one that I went with in the last playthrough, for all I know, but uh, this is very uh, decent. Um, city name? That's about as pronounceable as uh, many of the names of buildings and stuff in the game, so let's go with that. Uh, let's do uh, green and no thing behind there. Can actually add a second glyph on the background. Uh, outline color. Oh, well, that's kind of pretty. Um, let's do that and actually put it in front. And the tiling. Turn off that. Yeah, let's have little bats. Bats are cute. Uh, can I have a different color on the... Uh... Um, back to my complaints about the colors not being... Uh... Completely compatible. If you go with this and maybe dark red, that looks good. So, uh, Caledorn, uh, of Cthulhu. That should work. I think I'm happy with that. Let's not spend a lot of time here. Uh, we did start over here in the, uh, the last game. And it is a very good location. This is also decent, but... Uh, I don't really like this area here. If you start down there, I that's going to be a little bit problematic in regards to um, clay, if I remember correctly. Uh, I've never started up here, so I have no idea about the resources up here. Close to the river, which is good. There's swamp there, so that means there is clay here. Sand would be over here. I kind of feel that it's very close to the edge of the map. There's a lot of clay here, but we'd have to get all the way down here to get sand. There's probably some sand out there as well. I know that they did increase the size of the um, 
surveyor's towers so that you get a little bit more building area from that now. I mean, what the heck? Why not just start here? I, 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 I know that this is a good location, so... Um... I'd rather not have all of those roads. Um, that might work. It'll connect us all the way over there. Uh, I don't think I need to read that. Uh, go away, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's start out with the usual stuff. Um, before we do that, let's just have a little look at... So there's stone there. We have a small quarry. There. Then we can build a farm here. I forgot to do the uh, number of um, farms, of course. That seems to be obligatory by now. We start like that. We have 2,500 blueprints. Uh, but before we can do any, oh, let's just grab that for free. And now it shows you how many blueprints you have in here as well. So that's a new change. That's a good change. So how much bigger is... Oh, it's actually quite much. That's a lot bigger than it used to be. Huh. Nah, let's not use workers on that right now. So we need... Uh, 90 population. We can just let the game run a little bit higher speed while we get our population up and running. There we go. And then we can just go right in here and improve it. We can build something down here, so I'm wondering if we should build a cutting camp down here just to get some more wood. We are going to need quite a bit of wood uh, early on. I would also like to have another quarry. Mm-hmm. Speed things up a bit again. That gives us access to the uh, basic cultural buildings, the ceramic workshop, arena, Esculapium, Agoge Center, the uh, Edificium, Orficium, and the Forum. Now we need to get a few of these buildings up and running. Let's go in here and first and foremost, let's unlock the architectural office. That's free, so that's good. 
And since we're doing education, let's get the Agoja Center so we get that. That will give us uh, creativity as a satisfaction. Um, yeah, let's get that. Now we are going to need to uh, have some space for the um, uh, service buildings as well, of course. Uh, Esculapium Forum. Thing is, I would like to have satisfaction in safety because of the increased population migration. Health is also quite nice to have. I think we'll unlock those two education and uh, ceramic workshop. Cultural, we are we 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 need a couple more workers for these. There we go. Okay, let's see. Uh, how do we do this? That leaves us two districts. That will give us two districts, and over here will give us two districts. I think we'll go down here. Having the city expand in this direction and then also upwards, that seems to be fine by me. So let's have it there. Let's have safety. No, we're actually... No? Yes, let's have safety. And also, let's get some proximity. So much dense forest here. Uh, okay, so that will work. Build that there. I... Do not like that road, though. Oh well. Uh, look at the attraction filter. Produce attractive zones. Yeah, I, this should probably help with that. And now we get access to the Horium and the Macellum, so we can have a larger storage and also trade. So, let's open up the Horium. Just have 600 blueprints left, so we need to build the um, architectural office first and foremost. Does that give us anything in terms of... Um, Culture, I wonder. You'd think it would give education, or at least creativity. They also changed the camera settings. Well, I'm not sure how that works. That was something that I also noticed, that I, you can have this paint effect on, which makes the game look like a painting, which is really interesting. It's not completely my taste, but it definitely is uh, original, that's for sure. I'm going to turn that off again. Uh... We need 10 workers so we can get the architectural office. I think that's a good location for it, to be honest. We'll give some attraction, I believe. Yeah. A whooping 50 attraction. We did get what I uh, wanted. We managed to create an attractive district. I don't know which one it was. One of these. need to pay attention to this. We do need more health. We also need belonging and esteem. To get more health, I would have to build the ceramic workshop. We have blueprints up and running. Uh, 
Uh, this requires clay, so... I think I don't want to do that before I do this. I think I want the uh, ceramics workshop first, so I can get some of these satisfactions... Um, under control. Oh, another education district, that's nice. I'm fairly sure there is clay... Oh, we have to go all the way over there. Well done. Uh, mm. First and foremost, we need to build the um, ceramics workshop. So we'll build that... cover two districts like that, or I can build it over here and it'll cover those two districts. I'll get some contention with the um, education people regardless which location I put it at, but let's put it there. Uh, the other one that I want now is belonging, I think. So we have two workers. Just uh, see if we can get this in somewhere. That looks okay. Now we need 12 workers in total. One for clay and one for sand. Sand should be all along the, well, sandy beach here. Might come as a surprise. Could do another surveyor's cabin over here somewhere. To get better coverage of uh, the clay. But at the same time, I'd also like to get one uh, of these buildings down here somewhere. So that I can uh, get a farm. On a more decent location. Uh... I think this is a good spot for it now. This should be covered by um, our upgrading of this when we have 300 people, which shouldn't be that far off. And I should be able to fit in a stone quarry here. We now have access to the carver and the carpentry. And the factions also have started to... Uh, we should probably get... Yeah, there we go. Our first faction. So this is the Noble Tinsmiths, and uh, there was someone who commented that I didn't like that I read things out, but it's kind of my channel style, so uh, I'm sorry. If you don't like that, uh, you'll just have to click arrow forward a couple of times and uh, you'll get past it. The Noble t Nobles Tin... The Nobles Tinsmiths... No, they are. The Noble Tinsmiths are so discreet that we have little information about them. Archidamos, their representative, describes them as craftsmen specializing in the manufacture of tin plate objects and weapons. Hmm. I think they were working with copper. They are skilled in metalwork and their services are highly prized by the surrounding towns. Let's just accept them. That gives us access to the Agalma workshop, the Statio, Templum, Scola, Politerion, and Heleia. Heleia. Yes. We seem to have found a ruin down here. I'm going to demolish that. Uh, quarry. Uh, I would like some... Uh, clay production. Beach. This dense forest is really dense. Um... have to tear some of this dense forest down using a farm, I think.
I'd really rather not have a road going too far off here. Turn off the taxation of them because we don't need that on and I do want the trust. The only thing we need now is a steam. When we get the Sonatus, that should help a bit with that. Uh, proximity, no, service. The Horium is 19 workers. We can go and unlock the Mesodom as well. That's 15 workers. almost have the 300 workers but I do need a carver which I need to unlock in here I believe the carver does stone to rubble so what I want is actually a carpentry decline accept please That's 10 workers. Must be outside the dense forest. Yeah, there is way too much dense forest in there. Uh, how about down here along the road? That works. I'd really like to get the trade up and running as quickly as possible so I can build farms to get rid of the forest because that is a very effective way to get rid of the forest. So I'm going to prioritize that over um, the um, podium for storing more resources. But we can upgrade this as soon as we have the uh, wooden beams for it. So I don't think that requires workers. No, it does not. Okay, so we do have enough um, workers currently, so let's get the Macellum. Now, I'm not too big of a fan of the Macellum adding the commercial faction to the city. Can I make this work without going completely crazy on the roads? It definitely won't work if I do it like that. That works for me. And we need esteem. And safety. Now I know we are going to get districts around this because it does have some attraction. Not very high, but it does have some attraction, so. Uh, next, I think we are going to go and unlock the carver. Yes, thank you. But we are going to spend some workers on a farm here. If I can manage to fit it in. Okay, so that works. It'll make a road going to there. Let's just flip that up to 12. I also actually need a farm for food production. Let me just have a look at quarry down here. It's not that much, but up here is going to be a, a nice place for it. It's not a bad location for a quarry, but it's not really that good either. Although, that said, if I build a quarry there, I'll have some space left, and the farm will go in that direction. Yeah, why not? 
means I have way too many quarries, but this one is about ready to be torn down anyways. Now we can trade. Uh, these guys at Aquinium or Aquincum only buy or sell stuff to me. Spart will buy sand and clay and wasp. Okay, there was also a comment about that. I can't find the proper Egyptian pronunciation of the name, but I used to play Pharaoh back in the day, and they also have the new one, the Pharaoh, the, uh, a new era or whatever it's called, a brilliant remake. They pronounce the city name as Wast. Uh, there is, based on the comment that I saw in, on the previous series and also when I Google it, the English pronunciation is was it or was it. Uh, but I think I'll just stick with Wast since that's what I heard in, in Pharaoh. There's ample stuff here that is pronounced wrong anyways. So uh, yeah, let's unlock this and let's sell them some wood. They can't buy that many, 260. So actually 270. Sell them stone instead. Accept. And now the reason why I needed this gold is because to tear down things, if I want to, to do this, it costs money. It doesn't say here. Okay, I need a couple more workers so I can build a farm down here. Uh, we can also upgrade our warehouse, so that's fine. Let's just go ahead and do that right away. Improve. Uh, accept. Yes, I know we have the optional quest for fortifying the city, but I kind of want to wait a little bit before I do that, so... Uh, I'd like the districts to be a little bit more defined before I build the first wall. Which also means getting rid of this farm here. Mm. The Druids of the Isle of Man are a group of revered and venerable men and women. Led by Finella, they are renowned for their mystical wisdom and deep-rooted connection to the land. When they knocked on your door, they were only looking for temporary shelter, but there's no guarantee they'll ever leave again. Well, I'm happy to have them in the city. Puts us into Chapter 7 Rewards. We now have access to the Ergasterion, Castrum, Necropolis, Theatrum, Emporium and Thermae. And we also have access to the Senatus. So we should get the Senatus as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's a very bad belonging score. Uh, but farm. Small farm. All fields built. I would also like to build another farm in here if I can fit one there. I might have to put it on this side of the road, but just to get rid of the forest. I can always. I, uh, that's actually something that I do need. I need another uh, cutting camp. But there's ample wood up here, for instance. Also down here. So uh, I'm quite happy to just put down a farm. Must be outside the dense forest. Sure, okay, I'll have to build it on this side of the road then. Must be outside the dense forest. Jeesh. It's a lot of dense forest here. see if we can unlock another... Well, I could unlock the Sonatus, but... I seem to recall that the Scola is rather large. You can see, by the way, if you hadn't noticed, uh, this first tier, uh, it gives uh, decent enough attraction and satisfactions, and it only requires the basic materials. When you get into the second tier, 
the attraction goes up a bit. Uh, the satisfaction is not necessarily any better, but it also requires one of the uh, secondary resources, like this one requires sand, this one would require clay and so forth. And we get into the third um, tier, that does give 500 attraction and... Yeah, all of them ha no, not all of them, this one does not have um, three satisfactions. But often they do have three satisfactions, although this would give a little bit more. Um, Whereas this would give a more um, generalized satisfactions. But the attraction of 500 is definitely very lucrative. Now, there is no way I'm going to get the... Uh, well, actually, I can get the theatrum, but the problem is the clay and the sand. I need to build the um, horium before I can do that. So I'm thinking we can just go with a scola. And we can try to get the um, education uh, districts to move further south. But that requires 900 blueprints, so we'll have to wait a little bit for that. Like build a scola here or something. That will probably make some conflicts between education folks and uh, commercial people. Because when the city gets close to this, I'm definitely going to get at least one commercial faction moving into the city. I could decline them, but I see no reason why I should decline them. There we go. The Threat of Macedonia, level 1. An emissary brings you a letter from the King of Macedonia who wishes to conquer territory in order to gain access to the Aegean Sea. He plans to lay siege to Amphipol Amphipolis and the neighboring Greek cities and sees you as a key ally. You have the necessary soldiers and the Greek cities have co coveted resources, but weakening these cities in order to exploit them could be harmful in the long term. You could also seek political and religious support to moderate the king's ambitions. The choice is yours and will shape the future. Live up to your convictions. I'm not too fond of losing safety. That's 150 safety. Uh, although the Tul Tullianum is a rather decent building. The Mysterium, I... Definitely prefer that one over the Tullianum, though. That's a religious building, however. Or I could get the Ludus Magnus, which is a building that covers uh, education. I mean... We can afford the food. Let's help to defend the Greek cities. I did go with the Mysterium the last time, so... And I also wanted to unlock, but I don't think I need to unlock another one here if I get that building. So let's rather have a look at these. A Galma workshop. This one has two for some reason. Statio. That does require more sand. Do we have enough sand? Um... Not really. Mm. I'm going to go with the Statio here. Unlock, accept. 20 workers though, so I don't think we're going to get that up and running anytime soon. 25 workers, never mind. We trade with... Uh, Egypt again. Yes, we can. 300. 340. 380. 400. Yeah, exactly. Trade. Accept. As you can see, the this area here that I was uh, curious about earlier, this is now covered by the uh, the ring, so... Clearing out a decent part of the uh, forest here, so that's good. That'll give us both good coverage for clay and sand. There's also a lot of clay down here in the swamp. More sand, however, will require us to get down to the beach. Um, 
or all the way up to this um, lake. This lake also has a lot of clay, thanks to the uh, swamp area there. And this, I, I'm not sure if this is part of the swamp or if it's just outside of the swamp, but... Let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, uh, this farm is now done. So let's, uh, here, yeah, there you go. Cost 20 gold coins. Could make it go faster if I had more workers, but I don't think I'm going to bother. And it costs 25 gold coins to get rid of these farms or fields. So that's the reason why I wanted the trade up and running, so that we could get rid of the uh, fields easily and uh, restore our uh, building space area here. I would not object to a mass deconstruction tool. That cleared out some workers for us. Uh, let's get the uh, rubbles. That would be under production. And carver. Building already unlocked. Tilery gives us tiles. Brickworks gives us bricks. Except. We have enough clay for the time being, so I don't need to build more clay mines. We do have 25 of uh, workers ready, so I can build a Statio. I think I shall. So we need belonging and creativity, ironically. I think I'll take esteem, because we'll get... No, I need to take creativity. We'll get some creativity when, or rather a large dosage of creativity when we get that um, building from the event in uh, Macedonia. But that's a little bit uh, off. Food production is doing okay. I would like to get rid of this. A faction? The Deem of Megara is a large community under the leadership of Ioannis. They are renowned in their native Attica for having fought in great wars when ruled by Megara. Now they are respected above all for their bright political and cultural future. In you go and uh, let's untax you. Cultural radiance. We have increased our cultural level, so we should be on the uh, Vicus, Vices. Hmm, not sure. Two points. Your defense was a success. Inspired by your example, other cities rallied to the cause of the oppressed. The Greek cities resisted resisted valiantly, inflicting heavy losses on the king who lost an eye in the battle. In gratitude, the leaders of Amphipolis, Morona and Methoni send you the plans for a building, a symbol of your commitment to justice and the well-being of your peoples. So we get the cultural building Ludus Magnus. I actually did correct choice there, by pure coincidence. I think this one is really expensive though. Whoa, that's a lot of sand and wood. Um, I'd like to get the Horium up and running, so we need 19 workers. Mm. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do you consider yourself done? Maybe it adopted some of the buildings or fields from that other farm, because it isn't building more fields. Although, it did do what I wanted it to do. It cleared up uh, 
decent amount of space around the area here where I want to build some industry and I definitely want or need to build more sand quarry. 17 workers. Uh, let's lay down another small quarry. It's too far from the constructible zone. So I do need another Severus cabin out here then. Doesn't really make sense. Quarry. I don't think I can fit anything sandwise in here, but I can fit it up here. Another ruin out in the middle of nowhere, which is a bit sad. Uh, so this is good for play, and it will also be a decent. Oh, this is an advanced building as well. Oh. Demolish. And then a brickwork would be good. Build that on the corner there. Uh, and I'd also like to have a carver so that I can get some rubble. We also need to unlock tiles, so that would be the tilery. Uh, we are doing okay, so the one thing that I do want now that I don't have is the horium. Just need to pay attention to the food. I think we're fine though. Nineteen. Okay, so this thing. Okay, it doesn't add anything in regards to. Um... I build that there. It will add to the attraction. I think I want to build it up here, actually. Although, that will add a stupid road. I built it like that. Let's build it like this. Gives a little bit of attraction. And we can get belonging and esteem. That's a pretty decent income, actually. 250 of 3. There we go. So that should give us a bit more storage space. Now the only thing we lack is uh, creativity. The rest of them are at the maximum. The Ludus Magnus does require bricks and 23 workers. Um...
getting a Tylery up and running would be nice. But also, I would like to get that Ludus Magnus up and running. Another faction, this time it's the Epicureans. The Egyptian Thutmosis guided his peers, the Epicureans, to you. These philosophers sought peace of mind and happiness through the reduction of desires and the simple pleasures of life. They all aspire to live without mental disturbance, which they deem contrary to their purpose in life. Uh, they're probably going to end up in a conflict with a neighboring faction, aren't they? I've turned off tax for all of these, yes. 15, we needed what? 23. Uh, that's the free camera. Ah. Interesting. ZQSD. Right click to move forward. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is rather nice. Give you some great close ups of things. Hmm. Just 123 workers, please. Thank you. Cultural Ludus Mag. Oh, it's not a huge building either. That's great. So it does give creativity. Let's see, health 880, 7 and 650. Let's go with belonging. And now I'd like six workers so I can build a farm up here to just tear away all of this forest. We also definitely need the upgrade for the uh, farms. That would be 500 blueprints. Yeah. Probably also should remember to upgrade the quarries and the uh, cutting camps uh, this time around. Although the last time I don't remember exactly what I was doing or wh what I was thinking, but I, I had something in mind when I did what I did in that regards. Must not be on buildings, that's fine. Arg. I meant it to be 12 fields, but fine. It'll probably put a field here in the uh, sand and one down there. This one can be upgraded when we have 15 workers. But I'd rather build this out here. I think that's... No, we actually have six now. See? Okay, this is a very bizarre field. It's actually crossing the road. I've never seen that before. Ah, we get a new district here. Good. And all of our satisfaction are now at maximum. Great. Here we go. And I do want to have a small farm. I'm not sure if I can build it here. Must not be on roads. Ah, perfect. 12, thank you. Build. Get rid of a lot of forest here. And uh, the swamp here, that's a great place to get clay later on. Although there's ample clay here for now, but this is going to be a necessary area for clay. And uh, this area here would be great for wonder, and then I eventually can have my food production over here. I 
You see, we, I'm in cycle 401 or 402 now of 1250. I'm not sure what the complaints or objections to the uh, time limit thing is. I, I, I do understand it. I mean, I do love playing games like City Skylines and uh, similar games where you just... You just build and build and build and you don't have to think about any time of any kind of time limitation. But what I mean is I don't feel stressed out by the game. It, it doesn't feel like I have this, uh, oh my god, I need to do this before the timer runs out kind of feeling. That's at least my personal take on it. But I do really like that they added the endless mode and I, I uh, am definitely going to try that as well. So with that farm up and running, we can uh, remove this because it's kind of in the in the way. <laughs> Not a good location for it at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one should almost be emptied. We can trade off some uh, stone. Uh, tiles, that was the thing that I wanted. Uh, tilery. Down here would be a good location for it. I mean, it's very close to the stone there. Uh, does this area contain a lot of stone? No. So it's actually a perfect location for it. I do believe the Sonatas requires the uh, tiles. Let's have a look. Sonatas... No, actually it doesn't. Let's buy it then. Another faction. Dido has been head of the Sodalities of Mithra for several cycles now. This secret group dedicated to the eponymous god is renowned for the talented craftsmen it houses. The men who work here create marvels from raw materials. They offer us the Krushokoeon goldsmiths. Hmm. I doubt that the Krushokoeon is something. Well, actually, it's not that bad. Uh, remove the tax. The Krushokoeon might be worth building. Although we do have the military, we do have the... So if I wanted to build the Krushkweon, I would build it over here then, I guess. But I would like to build the Sonatus first and foremost, probably here. What do we need for... We need 900 people and tiles. This farm is going to go away. But I can't remove it just yet. I need to upgrade a farm first. Which means that I need to figure out a place where I actually want to have my farms. Up here? No. I'd actually want like to have them down there. In... in, in um... Like with wonders. Um, but let's build a farm here and remove some of this forest. Uh, that looks like good. Oh, I forgot the 12 again. Forgetting that all the time is a bit annoying. I'll also build a farm up here to remove some of the forest.
So let me just have a look at quarries. Where is the the highest amount of clay is over here? So this is the area that I don't want farms on, and I'm guessing that. Okay, so this one. I actually want that one then. A uh, small quarry. There's very little over there. There's a heck of a lot down here. Of course, the most is in the swamp itself, but I can't build in the swamp. It says must be outside of a swamp, but I can build all the way down there, and I can, like, follow the edge. There's not a lot of it. So I'm going to upgrade this farm, then. And what I'd like now is to have 30 workers so I can build the Sonatus. This, yeah, this is a new district too. I think I can remove that. Generating disturbances. Instead of having that there, I can rather have one behind here. I'm not sure how it intends to build that road, connecting it to there. I could just place it there, but that's not very much wood. Having it up here would probably be a better um, solution. Just follows the road that is already there, and getting a city district here is not uh, the worst thing in the world. These other cities, Spart buys clay and sand. Let's unlock that one. And we're full on both. I wonder if they fixed the bug with the trade caravans uh, when you change to the next age. Now the remaining wood here is going to be impacted by uh, fields. We have enough to upgrade our city center. I also feel that this farm has done its job, so let's demolish that. Here we go. This one should now, yeah, we have ample food production. We don't. Yes, 247. Consumption, 122. So we only need 10 more workers. 50 stone left. 45. That means that these two are going to be empty very soon. running low on these, but I have one worker to go. Why is the cycle standing still?
What's going on here? Okay. That's weird. I haven't experienced that before. Hold on just one moment, please. Yeah, saving and reloading. Started it up again. That's good, at least. No idea what that's about. There we go, 30 workers. Let's go to service, Sonatas, and it should fit in here. Although, is it going to do stupid roads? No, it isn't, actually. So, we can build that there, and we can take... It's going to give us a steam, because it's political. We can take creativity and safety. Confirm. Do we have all the cultural buildings built? No, it's the Krusokoheon. That one isn't built yet, but we get another faction. This time it's the Stoics. Lulach, the Scotsman, has recently been appointed head of the Stoic faction. His group has always advocated virtue, wisdom, and emotional detachment as the path to happiness. They advocate self-mastery and acceptance of circumstances. Hmm. Um, untax them, please. You. Would be nice to get the Krush Kaon up and running. Okay, so these are now done. We can just uh, demolish them, which will give us a decent amount. What's this? New senators. So the city is definitely, definitely uh, into the uh, education thing. Although, it seems that they will be happy to pass most of the, uh, well, they will not be very happy to pass the military decrees. Uh, can we pass that for a hundred turns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Refused. Uh, this one is 80%. Since I don't have any religion in my city, let's take that for 100 turns then. was nice. That gives us chapter 9, the Wonder Age. Circus Maximum, Library of Alexandria, Statue of Zeus and the Charjan Forum, and we have to choose between the Sassi di Matera and the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Um, hmm. We don't really have that many wanderers. I'm going to go with the Mausoleum. have a look at wonders we can't build this for a long time yet we need 50 workers for, well actually we can it's not that far off uh, we have uh, 33 workers um so maybe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven fields i specifically asked for 12 that's kind of weird.
Um, anyways, I do want to get rid of it. Let's see here. Uh, we can do upgrades on these things. Uh, getting the architectural office upgrade might... 90 workers. Wow. That's a lot. Not even sure I feel that's worth it. Um... Let's get the Castrum. Let's also get the uh, basic building upgrades. That one isn't necessary. That gives us more cultural radiance. We can improve our city center. So let's build the mausoleum or actually no let's upgrade the city no I don't intend to build a wall let's upgrade the city center improve accept and let's uh, wrap up things here and we can continue this in the next episode when we then get the uh, city center um, upgraded so for now if you have any questions and or comments, then please do feel free to leave those down in the comment section. If you want to help out with the YouTube algorithm, you can also maybe just put an emoji or something down there. And even click subscribe or like button if you want to. That's all up to you though. For now, I hope that you enjoyed the episode and uh, I hope that uh, this uh, city looks a little bit more uh, interesting than uh, the last one. And I hope to see you all in the next one.